I want to ride with them. All of a sudden, I'm very hungry. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> and while everybody else eats breakfast and watches us. Right. All right, I want to take you out to our Portland Shriners Hospital camera. What I've done is zoom down to the left of the Ross Island Bridge to the uh, Blues Festival that's going to be taking place this weekend. So kind of a cool shot there. Uh, we don't have any sunshine just yet around the metro area. It's 64 degrees currently at PDX. But look at all the sunshine from our brand new Willamette Valley Vineyards camera in Turner. 68 degrees already, so we're getting close to 70. If I take it to the visible satellite imagery, you can definitely make out the marine layer, which is uh, draping over uh, interior southwest Washington, portions of the metro area. It looks like uh, parts of the west side are already seeing some sunshine, though. Uh, and it looks like the marine layer is trying to build southward, but I'm seeing a lot of clear sky around Salem, Corvallis, and the central Willamette Valley. But it looks like the marine layer is hugging the entire coastline at this point. So no surprise, it's cloudy out there from our Chinook Winds Casino Resort camera in Lincoln City. We're up to 60 degrees, and I don't think we're going to see temperatures rise a ton from here on out. Uh, expect to see a gradual breaking of the skies. Most of us should end the day with partly cloudy, if not mostly sunny skies, with temperatures ranging between the 60s and low 70s. In the valleys, it's going to be a touch warmer than yesterday. Expect that marine layer to burn off between the mid to late morning. Highs will make it into the mid to upper 80s, but for the locations that are starting off with sunshine, you should rise into the low 90s. Through the gorge, highs will be in the upper 80s on the west side. The east side should be in the low to mid 90s by the end of the afternoon, with a west wind at 20 to 30, gusting to 40 miles per hour in some of you may be waking up to hazy sunshine. I can say that for Mount Hood. Uh, we do have some wildfire smoke drifting in from the north and the south uh, from British Columbia and Northern California. Highs this afternoon should make it into the upper 60s to low 80s, depending on your elevation. In central and eastern Oregon, we're looking at hazy sunshine from wildfire smoke drifting in. It's going to be a rather hot afternoon with highs in the 90s and possibly the low triple digits in a few spots. And the southeast quadrant of the state, just to the southeast of Burns, has a chance for some isolated thunderstorms. The National Weather Service has issued red flag warnings out there to highlight the elevated fire danger if we do end up seeing some lightning. Seven day forecast brings us back into the mid 80s Sunday. I think we're going to see a bit more of a marine layer during the morning, so it'll take a bit more time to see sunshine. Monday, Tuesday, we warm into the upper 80s and low 90s. Wednesday, a weak disturbance will strengthen our onshore flow. Expect more morning cloud cover. Cooler afternoon temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. And then by Thursday, Friday, high pressure builds in from the southwestern United States, bringing highs into the mid to upper 80s and possibly the low 90s by Saturday and Sunday. Deb, back to you.